Not everyone who plays games is a kid, and that's why today GameRanks wants to talk about 10 gamer parents who mastered parenting and gaming. Number 10, the chin bottle. Look, using a controller takes two hands, and there's some fairly complex button combinations that need to be pressed, whereas a bottle, it just needs to be held in a certain spot. Babies are easy to hold, they stay horizontal, and they don't move. To feed them with a bottle, you can in fact use your chin. Also congratulations on reaching level 40 in Star Wars Battle. Front. Number nine, reenacting actions from a video game. Specifically, this one is for Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Obviously, you have to have some degree of respect for the game to attempt to recreate poses and moves from it. But if you're a parent doing it with your son, that makes you a really cool parent. Even if you don't look particularly cool while you do it. I mean, it does a pretty decent job of pulling off Ryu's moves, though. Number eight, this dad loved Diablo so much that he and his son would play it all the time. And on top of that is grandson would also enjoy playing Diablo with him. So when he died of lung cancer at the age of 64, his son decided to memorialize him by donating to a game that kind of draws a lot of inspiration from it. And when the developers heard about it, they actually decided to put the father in the game. So after the successful Kickstarter and the game was developed, Grim Dawn includes a guard that is in fact Lee Hathaway, the father of John Hathaway, the son in this story. Number seven, when game developer dads do awesome things for their kids. To specifically highlight this dad, Mike Hoy wanted his daughter Maya to feel more comfortable while playing Legend of Zelda. She was confused as to why Link always had to be a boy. Now, Link is pretty gender neutral if you look at him. He's officially a boy. He went through with a hex editor and changed all the pronouns to be female, just so his daughter could have a little bit more fun with it. And if you don't understand why that's more fun for a little girl, maybe you're not a little girl, and maybe it really just doesn't hurt to do something like this for your kid. Number six, when you don't consider your kids dumb, but instead play games with them, teach them how to play them, sit down, and really enjoy the experience with your children. In a pretty awesome blog post by The Brainy Gamer, they detail their experience playing Skyrim with their daughter, and found that children are actually looking for the same thing things out of games that adults are, and that just colorful, dumb, boilerplate crap meant to dazzle them isn't necessarily what they want once they've experienced something more deep. Number five, the parents of Action Movie Kid, which is video game related and also pop culture, nerd culture related, where they take things that the child does and using special effects make them into these awesome videos where it looks like the child does things like cross monkey bars over alligators and things like that. And because of it, their child is actually gotten to visit Nintendo, which I personally have never done, let alone didn't do within the first six years of my life. And that's cool as shit. Number four, when your mom shares a World of Warcraft account with you. In order to play the game together, Leslie Woodhouse and her son share a World of Warcraft account. On top of that, they play a lot of other games together, including clearly Dragon Age Origins, with both her son and her daughter. This is what we like to call a case of everybody likes video games, and why wouldn't they? Number three, this daughter doing a a Bioshock routine, where the father is dressed up as a big daddy and the girl dressed up as the little sister. Now, being it's Halloween, we don't have to do any of the weird things that other people would probably do in order to try to squeeze some kind of social commentary out of this. It's just an enthusiastic parent and their kid that enjoys dressing up, doing something fun together. And who could honestly resist the big daddy? That is perhaps one of the most iconic and cool characters without saying a damn thing in any video game. Bioshock is awesome and I couldn't resist this one on that grounds, but also that their costumes are great. Number two, we started this off showing how easy it is for a father to feed their son with a bottle while playing a game. It's even easier for a mother. And I'm not gonna make any crude jokes or say anything mean here, just serious props. It's not easy to raise a kid, it's not easy to do any of this stuff. And I have a great deal of respect for anybody who breastfeeds their children. But on top of that, you can't say this woman is not hardcore when it comes to gaming. Breastfeeding is a time commitment and a personal commitment that men probably don't understand unless they've had a woman in their life make that commitment. It can pretty much take you out of any other activity going on. So saying, ah, I'm not giving up the gaming and doing that, seriously, good on you. And number one, 10 years after their father's death, a gamer discovered a way that they could interact with their father in a place they never expected. The gamer lost their father when they were six years old, but during their time,
time together, they loved a racing game called Rally Sport Challenge. While looking through some of his old possessions, the gamer booted up their old Microsoft console and discovered that their father had actually held the record for fastest lap, and therefore the game kept a ghost of him for other players to compete with. Now, it's certainly not the same thing as having a conversation with your father 10 years after they died, but I have to imagine that there's something a little bit cathartic about it, in that you get to interact with somebody that you haven't seen or heard from or been around and probably miss a great deal. One day they almost beat the ghost, which would have erased it, but just to ensure that that small piece of his father was always there, he stopped right in front of the finish line, because really, you wouldn't delete your father's ghost. And as a little bonus for you, here's a parent that really needs to get their priorities right. You're playing a game while your kid's having his birthday party, for God's sake. Nothing like the other parents on this list. Nothing. Do you know of a parent that has a special connection with their gamer kids? Let's talk about that in the comments. It's really nice to have parents that actually do want to connect with their kids these days. And whether it's through games or through other means, it's always nice to hear something, you know, good. If you like this video, please do us a big favor and click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, now's a great time to do so because we upload brand new videos every single day of the week. And the best way to see them first is of course a subscription. As always, we thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time right here on GameRanks.